okay now that we have everything hooked up we need to get DHCP running on this router so that this phone can pick up an IP address so we'll open the router and we'll hit enter we'll hit control C to exit out of that interface right and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to conf T to get to global config mode and what I'm gonna do is is I'll say IP DHCP pool right and I'll make the pool called voice so this will be my voice or my VoIP pool alright IP DHCP pool VoIP alright so I have the name for it right there and now the network network 192.168.150 dot zero two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero okay and then default router one nine two dot one six eight dot one fifty dot one that'll be the router gateway that we're gonna hand out right the network's gonna be one fifty okay alright that looks good there's our router okay and now we're gonna put in we'll put in a question mark now raw DHCP options notice this one right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say option and then a, a number DHCP option code and this is a special code for the VoIP the voice over IP configuration so we'll say 150 space IP 192.168.150.1 which of course is the IP address of the router okay so that looks good alright we'll, we'll exit out of there okay now we need to configure conf t the telephony service on the router so what we'll do is we'll put a question mark here and you can see there it is telephony service right in global config mode so we'll say TELE tab telephony service we'll hit enter and notice we're in telephony config mode now so that's pretty cool and we're gonna configure the maximum number of numbers right now so we'll say max tab max question mark max DN max dialing numbers max e phones so max dn space question mark maximum directory numbers supported okay so we'll just say we'll say 10 right so there's going to be 10 numbers supported right now we'll say max e phones right question mark maximum phones to support we'll say 10 alright that looks that was pretty easy the IP source IP source dash address 192.168.150.1 port 2000 all right IP source address the routers port on the correct VLAN right VLAN 150 port 2000 okay right, and then we'll say auto question mark assign define dialing number range for auto assignment right okay so we'll say auto assign and then a question mark start DN tag starting dialing number tag so we'll say four question mark two question mark let's say four two nine all right and 
actually since we have 10 phones I'm not exactly sure about what I'm doing here but what I'll say is how about this auto assign one two nine okay that looks good okay now that we've configured the router we're all done with the router but I created on the switch this access port for VLAN 150 for this telephone but I actually need to change it from just an access port to a voice port on the switch so I misconfigured uh, port FA020 on the switch and I need to redo that so what I'll do is I'll go into the switch and I've got the switch right here and I'll do a conf T right and then I'm going to say interface FA0 slash 20 right and what we did before was is we said switch port mode access and that's good right that's fine we did that right switch port mode access no problem but then afterwards we did switch port access and then we said VLAN 150 but we can look in here and we could say alright and I'm gonna know that out so no switch port I'll res reverse that no switch port access VLAN 150 and then what I'll do is I'll say instead what I want to do is switch port and you'll see if I do a space and a question mark there is a voice option along with uh, the trunk and the native and the access there's a voice option for voice appliance attributes so what we'll do is we'll say voice question mark VLAN 150 so that will make it specifically a voice port switch port access voice VLAN 150 and that's gonna have different attributes that we're gonna need then let's set up a second one so what we'll do is we'll say interface FA 0 slash 21 right and then I'll up arrow to switch port mode access and then switch port voice VLAN 150 so now we've made port 21 switch port mode access switch port voice VLAN 150 so now we have a second port for voice and then what we can do is we'll click on end devices IP phone drag out a second phone cord it up with a straight through cable from switch to port 21 right notice we've got red lights here we have to click on the voice over IP phone and power it up just like that alright perfect now if we close that out you'll see that it's starting to go from blocking to forwarding right just gonna take a second here so now if we look at the phone here we can see that configuring CM list right call manager list anyway the phone is here but what we need for it is we need to give it a um, number right we need to give this phone a number and to do that we're gonna have to go back to the router and do it through the router so we weren't quite done with the router so we go back to the router and we're going to go into global config mode and we'll say question mark define Ethernet phone ephone right ephone directory numbers right so that's what we're gonna use so we'll say ephone dash directory number space question mark and then the tag so we'll say one right and we'll now we need to give it a phone number so we'll say number six two zero zero one all right and we'll hit enter right and then we'll say notice the phone just registered right okay then what we'll do is we'll say ephone directory number two right and then we'll say number 
62002. And we'll do that. And hopefully that will give the number to the second phone. You see here an IP address just got handed out. So now if we look at these phones, we'll go back to the phones, you can see here our first phone has a number 62001, right? Picked up that number, right? Also, it picked up an IP address. If we hover over it, maybe we can see it. This has picked up an IP address. He's located 150.2, right? It's got the gateway. It's got the line number. You can see all this information. And then the second phone, we hover over that one, and it's picked up an IP address, and it's got a different phone number. If we click on this one, right, we can see its phone number right here. And so now what we can do is we can dial, let's try this out here, 62001, and then pick up the phone, and it's ringing out, right? We'll go to the other phone, and you can see that it's got a phone call from 62002. We can pick it up, and we're connected. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's hang it up. All right, we've hung up the phone, and let's dial the other number. So we'll say 62002, right? And pick up the phone. It's ringing out. Pick up the other phone, and you can see that it's got a phone call from 62001. All right. That's it.